What is going on everybody? It's your boy Bluff Jug. But today I want to focus on my experience with the open beta. Talk about three main things. And the first being my personal experience, connections and the server, and then future impressions. So we'll hop right into it. So firstly, my personal experience. I was absolutely delighted to have the chance to play this open beta with all my friends. Being one of the few folks I got selected for the closed beta was bittersweet. I didn't have the chance to actually lab or play against any friends i feel like i was hitting the ceiling pretty fast so i wasn't able to properly train i didn't know what i was doing there weren't many combo videos on youtube at the time but this time around there's a lot of people putting out good content as far as combos guys and strategies capcom's done a good job of dropping those character strategy videos over time but i didn't spend too much time playing ranked getting some more ken tech I finally was able to land that target combo with the Genrai Kick, Side Switch, the Tatsu, as well as the Shoryuken. So I got a lot of my bases covered with my bread and butters, and I was actually winning a lot of games. I had to be honest with myself, it was against players who are just now having the chance to play the game. This resulted in me being called a crack user. People were asking me where the spoon was. A bunch of rude stuff that I didn't appreciate. But other than that, it was pretty cool. I did, however, have one individual come into my chat trying to teach me the matchup against Guile. I did what I did best, told him to run the set. An amazing experience. I'm so happy, like I said, got the friends involved and got a chance to connect with uh, old friends. Lupusan, we ran some sets. And this is a segue into the second point I wanted to make, which was the connections and servers. The servers were red. A lot of the signals and connection strengths were red and weak initially, but once you got into the server and started running games against folks, the games ran by very smoothly. I love how they have the option to have you select the stage and whoever's playing the game their version is the stage they actually selected. So we did find that selecting the training stage for both players resulted in a better connection. I played against my cousin, Arizona. I believe Lupusan was in Florida. The connection was a bit choppy there. And then other friends from Michigan, North Carolina. So majority of the people I played against were in the United States, but I did get a chance to play against some folks in Mexico, as well as other parts of the world. And the connection wasn't bad at all. So I'm really impressed that Capcom was able to have such a strong connection, even though they said it was weak when you looked at the servers. I wasn't able to connect to some of the higher number servers. So if you actually go up instead of down to get to the higher number servers, a lot of them were inaccessible for some reason. I'm not sure what that was, but I was able to find a lot of uncrowded lobbies just to train in. And I think that was probably the best part is even though there are more players playing because it's an open beta, I still had the chance to practice and work on some combos and setups. So overall, really pleased with the connection and the servers for now. Impressions for the future. I think this build was from the second closed beta. So it's still a bunch of stuff we've already seen for those who had the chance to play it. There are plenty of Twitter conversations and clips about Kimberly unblockables, the glitch where she gets level three without using her super. People complaining about how strong Guile is. I was one of those individuals, I'm not gonna lie. I hate playing against Guile. I'll get the matchup in time. Keep in mind, there are so many other characters. The meta has not been defined. I think the FGC is just really excited to have this game in our hands and it's not even a full build yet. So I'm only expecting there to be changes, updates, and character strengths will be moved around because other characters will be joining and as the full game is coming. I don't, I think everybody can relax a little bit, wait for the game to come out and then let's process and talk about the conversation of character strengths, matchups and what those look like as well. Just excited overall. I think this is a long time coming. I love Street Fighter 4 was a diehard casual. Five just rubbed me the wrong way and now we're coming to six. It's polished. A lot of fan service, world tour mode looks amazing. So I'm looking forward to diving back into six, putting plenty of hours in. We got some characters coming out, Akuma's on the way, Rasheed, Ed. I think they're giving us a lot of front in terms of Mo variety, characters, things to be excited for. Just kudos to Capcom. Let's get better together, man. Let's let's try to bring in the FGC a little tighter. You guys have a good night. Go play some Street Fighter 6. Go mess with those level A computers, and I'll see you at release. Peace.